Today, I've got a brand new 2022 Sea Ray 190 outboard. And you know how I can tell that? Because it's got a big black Mercury 150 on the back. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers will know that I've done this same boat, the 190, but with the inboard Mercruiser. So this video today is gonna to be a really, really quick one because they're very, very, very similar, apart from the engine. So let's have a quick look and I'm gonna give you a full review and I'm gonna tell you the costs. So as you would imagine, the cockpit is exactly the same. Um, this one has got a slightly different spec to the last one. It's got the gray seat, sorry, the um, brown sea deck, which I must admit, I think I prefer because it looks like teak. And it's also really soft and comfortable. And as you can also see, I haven't got my stupid socks on today because it's so warm in England at the moment that I'm just having to wear the least clothes possible. So apologies for that. Now, I don't know if you can also see, but this boat has got the dials and Simred screen option, which at first I wasn't too sure about, but I've decided I think it looks really, really good. I think Simrad could have done a bit better with their chip insertion. You have to take the screen out to put a card in it, which I think is a little bit naughty. Um, I think you could have made that a bit easier, Simrad. The seating on this is exactly the same as the inboard, and the controls are all pretty similar. This boat has got the active trim. I don't know if you want to come and have a, a look. Can you zoom in on that? Which turns on and off here, and that allows you to do the perf set the perfect speed for towing a wakeboard or skier. So that's about an 800 pound option. And if you're into skiing, if you look here, it's got the ski pole as well. Just to go to the ski pole there. You might, you might have to, that's it there, ski pole there. Because um, this guy who's bought this boat is really keen on skiing. The bow rider is the same as the other video I've done, which is great. Um, and all the seating configurations are good too. So let's have a look at what's different at the back. Okay, so the big difference on the outboard version is, of course, the engine. Now, on the Sea Ray 190 inboard, the engine is in here, but the nice thing about choosing the outboard is, look at this lovely space. It is absolutely huge. Look, to get an idea of size, look at my hand. I mean, you could get, I think actually I could get in there. The other thing is you've got this lovely Mercury 150 outboard which has got power steering, and this customer wanted the engine cover on to protect it from his water skis, which I think looks pretty cool too. But it should do, because it costs 300 pound extra for that cover. It's a lot, isn't it? But I think it looks really, really good. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna show you the costs as per my last video. So, Let's run through the costs. The first thing we're gonna do is talk about the fuel. Now this boat has a 114 litre tank, um, but we'll start off with a speed of 20 knots. This boat will do 50 knots, but we're gonna use 20 knots like we normally do. The fuel burn is about 30 litres per hour. The price in May 22 has come down a little bit of petrol. It's now about 1.70, 1 pound 70 per litre. Uh, which gives you a fuel cost of 51 pounds per hour. But what's interesting is if you give it the full beam, which is about this position here, this boat will use 74 liters an hour, which is about 125 quid. So average use of 50 hours per year gives you a fuel cost of about two and a half grand a year, 2,550 pounds per year, which I don't think is bad for 50 hours use on a, on a boat like this. Financing. So this boat costs £55,000. The banks will want 30% deposit as usual, which is about, let's call it 15000 which means you'd be financing £40,000 if you want to. Uh, £40,000 would cost you about £400 per month. So the payments are £400 per month. And that gives you a finance cost of about £4,800 per year. Obviously, if you just pay for it, then you haven't got any financing costs, but a lot of people finance in the UK and Europe and America, so that gives you a cost of the financing. I don't think that's bad either. Now we're gonna move on to fixed costs, and we'll put these on the screen like we have done with everything else. Well, the first thing is birth. Well, 
this doesn't need a berth because you launch it on a trailer and in the UK you can use park and launch or dry stacks um, but again that's a personal choice so I'm going to put berthing down as zero you might even have a big enough garden to put it in at home in which case it definitely is zero um, you've then got the servicing well it's only a single mer cruiser and an out drive there's a few anodes oil and filters etc etc I don't think it's too bad per annum. Maximum you'll spend is a thousand pounds a year looking after those items. Maintenance, well, it hasn't got anti-foul. Um, and I think you could wash a boat like this yourself quite reasonably. Um, so I don't think there's gonna be any maintenance costs. So I'm gonna put maintenance, especially if you buy a new one like this, I think it's gonna be zero. Maybe 10 quid for some wash and wax or something, but not much. Insurance is gonna be between 500 and 1,000 pounds. Let's call it 1,000 pounds. I know some of you have been saying my insurance costs are high, but I have to look at the worst case scenario um, on some of the insurance costs. So let's put that down at 1,000 pounds. So then you've got total cost, 2,000 pounds per annum, which is about 166 pounds a month. I think it's really good. Not expensive at all. Right, now we're gonna do variable costs. Okay, it's a brand new boat, you're gonna, definitely lose a little bit of money in the first year so as I said it cost 55,000 if you had her a year I would think you'd look to probably get 50 for her so let's put depreciation down that's 5,000 the fuel well we've done the fuel which was 2,550 pounds per annum and we've got the finance of 4,800 pounds per annum so we've got a total cost of about, what's that, 12 grand-ish, give or take a little bit per annum. So that includes all your variable costs. It's about you know grand per month or there or thereabouts. So very, very affordable. So now we're gonna do the JB scores and then we're, we're gonna give it the uh, measure of pleasure score at the end. So accommodation, well, it's not a boat that you stay on overnight. It seats about eight people. But in terms of accommodation for what it's designed for, which is water skiing, I think it's very versatile and it's beautifully designed and made. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 for accommodation. Style, well, I think it's a pretty cool looking boat. This one's in Sea Ray, sea -ray Blue. You can have it in all different colours. You can have two-tone and all sorts of things. So I think it's a pretty cool looking boat. So I'm going to give it 8 out of 10 for style fun well we haven't been able to go out on it today but this boat is pure fun personified out in the water 50 knots roaring v6 wind in your hair water in your face i'm gonna have to give it a nine out of ten for fun running costs well as you can see it wasn't too terrible for running costs so um, obviously if you give it the full beans it's going to use quite a lot of juice but if you cruise around and ski and enjoy it I think it's quite a reasonable boat to, um, to, to run. So I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 for uh, running costs. Quality, well, I hope you agree with me, the stitching, the finishing, and everything on the boat is top notch um, for a sports boat. So I'm gonna give it eight out of 10 for quality too. So that's well done, Sea Ray there. So that gives a total JB score of 41 over 50 which gives a measure of pleasure score of 82%. I absolutely love this boat. It's similar price to the outboard, so the inboard. It looks great. If you're doing a lot of water skiing, I think this might be the one because of the extra acceleration, but I love it. Now, on the Sea Ray 190 inboard, the engine is in here, but the nice thing about choosing the outboard is look at this lovely space. It is absolutely huge. Look, to get an idea of size, look at my hand. I mean, you could get, I think actually I could get in there. Let's, let's have a look. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah, yeah I think I can get in. Let's see if you can shut the lid. Let's see if you can shut the lid. Don't bash my head. Come on in. Oh, okay. Right, so it's pretty, it's pretty big. That is big, because I'm big and that is big. 